What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to WWE 2K24, bro. And I know it's been some days since I uploaded, man. A, a lot of RL things has happened. It kind of took my attention for a little bit, bro, but we were back, man. If you don't know, there is a new Supercard Locker Code out right now, which is Supercard 2K24. So if you haven't already did it, go ahead and go put it in so you can go ahead and get prepared for the live events. Speaking of live events, go ahead and hop straight into it. Now, let me go ahead and start with the actors already. Now, I haven't got Carmelo Hayes for the Ricochet, and I don't have, I think that's all? Yeah, everything is gone. I don't missed out on everything. I ain't get Trish Stratus. I forgot who else I didn't get, bro. I, I don't miss out on so much stuff. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to focus on trying to get this Carmelo Hayes. Hopefully, I can get him to try to get this Ricochet. I don't know if it's going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. But that is a hope of mine right now, man. Let's go ahead and see what Ricochet looking like. I don't know if I went over this with y'all or not, but we're going to go over it again just in case I didn't. You know what I'm saying? We got Ricochet, 88 overall, Amethyst High Flyer card, bro. These are his stats right here, man. Stamina 93. Okay, I can rock with that. Movement speed 93. Agility 99. Yes, sir. Area range 99, 93. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm rocking with Ricochet, man, so far. I'm liking how everything looking. Springboard should be A1 if he got him, like he's supposed to. Go over the badges. He got Gold Dive Bomber. He got just Tier 1 Sting Like a Big Going in Hot on Tier 2. Swiftness Gold. And also Born to Fly. Like I always say, y'all, man, I don't think high flyers need any type of stun badges. But with him just having just a basic sting like a bee is good enough. Born and hot on tier two. That means he start off with a little bit of his signature or special or whatever it's called, bro. Um, he start off with a little bit of that. Uh, Swiftness make him move a little bit more faster. Dive bomber. When he do some type of dive attacks, man, it'll hit a little bit harder. You feel me? So uh i think ricochet is gonna be a decent card bro like i told you to me i do not think high flyers need sting like a b but if they have sting like a b it's just a plus because they diving attacks they springboard attacks hits hard anyway um but moving on man he also has resiliency as his payback other than that man i think he's a good car i really want to get him i would like to try him out i would like to have him. hopefully i can pull that uh carmelo hayes but y'all know how the patch goes, bro. Moving on. Now, if you haven't already put the new locker code in just yet, man, these are the cards you're going to get. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and pop open mine because I haven't opened it yet. So you can see exactly what you get inside of these cards, man. It is an Enigma uh, super card pack. You get five cards out of it, bro. So let's go ahead and open it up so y'all can go ahead and see. I haven't seen it myself, but come on now. Well, you only get four cards. They already showed us the card we supposed to be getting, man. We end up getting a Nikki Cross 79 overall Sapphire card. Let's go ahead and check her out real quick. So you can go ahead and see her stats. I like her stamina is at an 86, so that's decent. You feel me? Um, yeah, I ain't got nothing to say. Her error range is a 93. All right. But she's not a spring, she's not a high flyer, so I don't think she got any springboard moves, so that don't really matter. But she is a Sapphire 79 overall striker. She got tier one sting like a bee. She also got tier one line heart. And her payback is a rage. Hey, Nikki, she shouldn't be that hard to use. Having rage and also having sting like a bee, even if it's tier one, is decent enough to get the job done. So, so the little 2v2 thing that they got us having to do shouldn't be that hard, especially with Nikki Cross in my mind for me. Uh, and plus, she's a striker. Yeah, I, I can rock with her. Moving on to the next one, man. We got Isla Don. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, bro. If I didn't, it is what it is, bro. You feel me? She is a Sapphire. Hold up, hold up. 66 stamina. Oh, yeah, I'm going with Nikki Cross. She is a uh, 78 overall Sapphire striker card, bro. Uh, her stamina is too low for me. If I go in in this match, I'm going straight for Nikki Cross. I'm not going to use uh, Isla. I hope I said her name right. Uh, I'm not using her at all. Look at her badges. Okay, I might be count, bro. Listen. <laughs> She got sting like a bee and she got heavy handed, bro. Um, once I get them stunned, I'm thinking it don't even matter what type of heavy hand. Uh, that's what I got to figure out. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go into a random match after this and test her out and see with this tier one heavy handed still reset the stun, bro. I need to figure that out. Or is it just it got to be tier two or higher? You know what I'm saying? But if it does reset, I don't know. I might have to use it. You feel me? Uh, payback is raised also, but. I just don't like her stamina so low, bro. She got a 66 stamina. Maybe the stamina won't be a big factor. Maybe, maybe it won't, you know what I'm saying? Especially I could probably get a, a manager that'll push it around like a 70 something. I was liking Nikki Cross because her husband was an 80 and I was trying to get it to a, like a 90. But 
you know, it is what it is. Next one, man, we got George the Animal Steel. Hopefully they did him right this time, because last time he was unplayable. <laughs> My boy was trash. He didn't have no good badges, no nothing. 65 stamina. Uh, yeah, uh, 65 stamina, bro. Let's see what his badges look like. Hey, he got tier two sting like a bee, and he got demolition, man. Hey, he got tier two sting like a bee. Sapphire 78 overall powerhouse. George the Animal Steel. Uh, payback earned y'all. He might not, uh, he got sting like a bee, so uh, I don't know. I gotta test him out when we get into the match. You feel me? Now, everything I'm saying is yes, he can probably still be a good card straight. I'm looking at what cards would make it a lot more easier for me to complete the match. I'm not looking for, I'm not saying that they are bad. I'm looking for mainly which card is the best one to get it done with. And George still, he like, uh, you know what I'm saying? He like 50 50. I do like that he got tier two sting like a bee which is all I really need to get the job done. But we're gonna check out the next card and see what he looking like before we make our decision. Next up, we got Joey Gacy, 79 overall striker, which he's gonna make my life a lot more easy because he is a striker. He just needs the badges to, to you know, to complement the strikers, you feel me? Stamina is 73, which I think is good because I think I got a, I'm trying to think, do I got a manager that can boost that up to an 80? I think I got a plus nine manager for stamina. I don't know. I got to go check, man. But we're going to go ahead and check these badges out. He got tier one sting like a B and he got all the ounces. Uh, him or George Steele? I still probably, uh, I probably still go with Joey Gacy over George Steele. I guess because he's a striker. He just make my life a little bit more easier. And I just got to try to, you know what I'm saying? The, in, my faction punch requirements is not that difficult. Just got to do a lot of punches. It's just, I know I'm going to have to hit them a lot more. I come with combos before I even get them stunned. I think I'm about to do three, four, three, four combos to get them stunned. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I also got all the answers that when I reverse is also coming handy. So I don't know. Plus he got earned y'all too. You feel me? So them are all four of the cards, bro. I prefer Nikki Cross out of all of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I do like that she got Sting Like a B and Heavy Handed. George still, I do like his tier two Sting Like a B and you know what I'm saying, Joey Gacy. I, I really ain't got nothing else to say. He got what well, Sting Like a B and all the answers. I feel like that's a good combination together too. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the new cars and all that stuff, bro. Now, like I was saying, man, we need the Joey Gacy and the George the Animal Steel Enigma cards to go after this Karen Cross Supercard Enigma card, man. He is a Ruby 84 overall striker. This is his uh, his stats right here, man. 68 stamina. Bro, they, this stamina be looking terrible, bro. <laughs> terrible i gotta go check my managers and make sure i got like at least a plus nine stamina somewhere but his badges right here he got a tier two sting like a b and he also got an amateur space invader uh he do got the uh minimum requirement of sting like a b a tier two so i can't really say nothing plus he is a ruby card but i know there's other ruby cards that have at least an amateur sting like a b so uh he's like 50 50 out would i use him i don't know <laughs> i really don't know bro because i can use like i said before when it comes to strikers bro if i use them i'm just using because i just want to use them but i got stone cold i got undertaker the, the boss cards from the faction wars them 84 overall cards they are way more better to me in my mind and plus they are strikers than to have to use him which he only got tier two sting like a b which is still get the job done uh, and he got empty space invader, which is good on his own. You feel me? His payback is move thief. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I do like move thief though. I had tried that out on uh, Xavier uh, Xavier Woods. You feel me? So I, I am rocking with move thief, bro. But I don't know how I'm feeling about Karen Cross. But I am going to try to get him anyway. But I probably will only use him if I need him for like a live event or something like that, bro. To be honest with you. Next up, man, we got a 2v2, man, with the two Enigma female cards that we have. Nikki Cross and also Isla Dawn. Uh, to get a Ruby 84 overall Beth Phoenix Enigma card, bro. Uh, let y'all go ahead and check out her stats. Bro, the, the stamina... What's up with this low stamina, bro? They got at least have like a 75 or higher stamina to make me feel a little bit better because at least I can push it up to like an 80 something. You know what I'm saying? How are these stamina's be killing me? Uh, but you know, she's an 84 overall Ruby powerhouse card. Y'all know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these badges, bro. Let's go ahead and check the badges out. She got tier two sting like a bee and then she got an uh, amethyst energetic opportunist. The same thing with uh, Karen Cross, bro. I, I feel like I got I got better choices in Ruby cards than to use her. Am I going to try to get her? Yeah, she goes towards my 
collector's level. Will I ever try it out? I don't know. I might, maybe, especially if they, I would definitely use it if they force me to, not force me, but if there is a live event for her to be used in, but to just go off of my first thought or my first choice, she's not gonna be like my first choice or the first person I think of when it comes to a, a, a event or something like that. When it comes to the Ruby cards, I'm going to always go to Trish Stratus. She's gonna be one of the females that I am gonna move toward, forward to. But any other Ruby card as for females, yeah, I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. You feel me? I gotta go back and check through to make sure though. But Beth Phoenix, she all right, man. Payback, I like her payback as a rage though. But yeah, man, <laughs> y'all don't have the cards already, man. Put the lock code in, bro. And then once these cards drop tomorrow, go ahead and go after them. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Y'all rocking with the cards or y'all not. I do like the card art and everything. Um, I do look like the way her uh, aesthetics and stuff is going to look like the her and all that stuff. Compared to the old school Beth Phoenix. Um, I do want to get them just off of their attire itself. Well, I don't know what Karen Cross going to look like. I'm talking about Beth Phoenix. Um, like her, her, her attire is going to be fire. So, yeah, that's the only thing, bro. Other than that it is what it is now another thing that i didn't talk about we got the july live events uh part one of the things that's supposed to be dropping we got the supercar enigma and the enigma 2 boss battle it's from july 9th through july 31st then we got the demaster encore battle uh boss battle from july 12th through july 19th then you got the money in the bank between july 19th through july 26th and then you got the iconic moments between july 26th and august uh second so them are the things to be looking forward to. I probably need to go ahead and screenshot this, man, just to uh, have it just in case when it leave, I know exactly what's supposed to be happening, you feel me? Uh, but other than that, man, ain't nothing really happen. That's pretty much it. Oh, hold up. <laughs> I'm tweaking. We have a new weekly tower. Now, I haven't even finished this one off, but I will finish this off today. Uh, we have a new weekly tower that is out right now. It is for a money in the bank pack. So if you don't have, or you can't get a money in the bank pack, bro, this is your chance to come in and try to knock out this weekly tower and go ahead and get you a money in the bank pack and hopefully you get lucky and pull one of the cards that you need for these live events and all that stuff like a ricochet or what was it ricochet whoever it was that you got to have for that ricochet bro hopefully you pull them and uh yeah i can't really go over what's inside of it because it's locked until i finish off week 21 but when i when i unlock it i'll I come back through it or something like that on the next one. and i think most of y'all already know or should know that the singlet supreme cards has hit the uh, card market so if it's any card that you wanted from that pack you are able to come in and just buy them out straight up if you want to come and get them um yeah man that's pretty much it ain't nothing else done happen so far y'all let me know what y'all think about everything man also i apologize for the the absence of myself bro it's just a lot of things that happen in rl you feel me and that come first before anything. Right now, YT is a uh, it's a it's a hobby. It's not like a full time job like they don't pay like no full time job right now. But it's a hobby. But I, I do try to stay consistent as much as I can. But it's gonna be some days I might end up <laughs> become missing. You feel me? Uh, but um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and all the other good stuff, bro. And I get it, y'all. In the next one, I'm out.